friends and family, beautiful people. I hope you all are doing fantastic. So just a few days ago, we made some fermented cassava into cassava dough. The Ghana people from Ghana call this aglima, and they make something called fufu out of it. It's pronounced nasally. So there is fufu and there is fufu. Today we're making fufu. <laughs> now, I'm laughing because my husband is also laughing <laughs> as I try to pronounce it nasally. So anyway, this is my mom's favorite dish. Fufu served with okra stew. So let's go ahead and do just that. First, let's wash our hands. What I love about this recipe is it's so easy. All you need is the dough, the fermented cassava dough, some water and season it to taste and get cooking. For this batch of fufu, I will be using three balls of fermented cassava dough. So if you haven't seen my previous video in which I prepare the actual fermented cassava dough, it is linked below for your convenience. Please be sure to watch it. That's also really easy to do. Um, I have already added some salt to season with and I am going to crush the dough and mix it up with the water until I get about quadruple the thickness of heavy cream. This is the thickness we're going for right there to begin with. Eventually, as we cook, we will need to add some water to steam the fufu. So here it is, it's now on the stove. We're going to start on, you guessed right, yes, medium heat. Now, once you have your pot on fire, you have to stay with it and consistently stir it. You can use a silicone spatula to do this. And if you have one of those wooden ladles, you can also use that. Or you can use one of these wooden um, spatulas from Ghana. And if you want to know where to find it, hey, it is available on Amazon.com, yes. <laughs> and you can also find it at most Ghanaian grocery stores if you're living in the diaspora. Now you see how it's stiffened, but it's also really nice and smooth. It's almost impossible to get lumps in this uh, dish. So continue to stir and obviously you want to clean the sides of your pot as you're stirring it and incorporate what you've cleaned out so that they can all cook together. Now at some point it will become harder to stir and that will be your indication to stop stirring, turn the heat down to the lowest setting and add some water to it. We're going to begin to steam the fufu. It is the steaming that's actually going to cook it through. And it is very important that you cook this thoroughly. And it's the steaming that will ensure that for us. So I have added some more water. Um, the details is all in the description box in terms of how much water, all the ingredients and the amounts are in there in the description box. So please be sure to look at that. So once you add some water to it, you're going to create these holes in there because steam is going to build up because we're going to cover this pot at some point and when the steam builds up it will need some place to sort of go through so those holes will be really helpful for that the steam is ineffective if it doesn't go through the mixture all right so cover the pot leave it on the lowest heat setting for about 20 minutes and when you go back you will notice that the color itself of the mixture has changed it is now not white but it's translucent so we're almost there the cooking is about 90 percent done now you're going to continue to stir it trying to incorporate the boiling water around the fufu now, also at this point, you would want to determine if you have the perfect texture in terms of the softness. Some people like it softer, others like it a little firmer. So determine that at this point. And if you feel you need more water in there to soften it, please feel free to add it. Obviously, don't add too much water at a time. Add it in bits, stir it, and continue to check to see if you have the texture you prefer. 
Now the extra water that you continue to incorporate to soften it must be hot water, by the way, all right? Hot water so that you don't shock the temperature of the fufu and it'll help to cook it through a lot faster than later as well. Now look at that, see how translucent it's become? This fufu is done cooking and we're going to package it. We're also going to serve it with some okra stew, yes. It goes so well with okra stew. One of my mom's favorite dishes. My little boy also really loves this dish. He just loves okra stew anyway or, or okra soup. Most children tend to love okra soup. I don't know. It must be something with the feel of it, the texture of it, and how everything you eat okra soup with just goes down so smoothly and effortlessly too. So I'm packaging it in my saran wrap. This is the safe kind that you can use to wrap your food, all right? So when you go to buy, please look for the safe kind. I sprinkle a little bit of water in there before I portion the fufu into it, all right? Um, that's just to make it easy for it to be removed when it's ready to be served over the soup, okay? And then I just wrap it up and I turn it a few times to make it tight. And this can sit on your counter and at room temperature for up to three days and it will not go bad. Yes, I know this because I done it, all right? It also will store well in your fridge for up to a week, but it will make it to up to a week. Believe it, it won't make it to a week. <laughs> Cause it's so good, you want to have it and uh, devour it right away. <laughs> All right, it's, it's so good when it's hot. So here is the okra stew. And I take one, unwrap it. Just like that. And its aroma is very inviting too. And it tastes so good, I'm telling you. You have to try this recipe. It is something that you're going to be hooked to. I promise. <laughs> so serve your stew, just like so. And I remember one thing my mom would do is garnish the actual fufu with a drizzle of the palm oil from the stew. And just look at how inviting that is. Friends, you must try this recipe. Now I have several okra stew and okra soup recipes right here on this channel and I have linked them all below for your convenience so please check them out and try this recipe. You will love it. Friends and family, beautiful people, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have learned a thing or two and had yourself some fun, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share this video with everyone you know, everyone you love. Thank you again for joining us today. Hope to see you again pretty soon on my next one. Don't forget to make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Right now, it is chop time. Have a great day. Mmm, this thing goes down so well. Mm.